Okay, now that we've created an arc map template, let's go through the process of creating some shapefile templates that'll make our map creation uh, job a lot easier. So we'll start with opening up Arc Catalog. Okay, I've already got a folder connection for CGIS data, and that would be a good place for us to put this new uh, a subfolder to create some map templates or some shapefile templates, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to right click on that CGIS data folder. I'm going to choose New Folder. And um, I'm going to call this um, shapefile templates. Okay, and one thing that I can do to make this always show up at the top of the list is I'm going to put a one underscore as sort of a prefix to the name. Okay, and then that will um, that will allow it to be stored toward the top of the list. Okay, so now there's nothing in my shapefile templates folder, so now it's up to me to create a new shapefile. Okay, so I'm simply going to right click on this folder while in Art Catalog and I'm going to come down to New and I'm going to choose Shapefile. Okay, from here it brings up a dialog box that asks me what I want to name the shapefile. So let's say my first one I want to call it Track. Okay, and uh, or maybe Tracks with an S. Okay, the, I need to set the geometry type so I'll make this one a polygon that would coincide with what a track really is is a polygon and here is the place where I set my um, uh, my coordinate system so I'll go to edit and then this brings up the um, uh, a window much like you see in the data frame properties where we can choose a coordinate system so if you don't have your desired coordinate system in your favorites folder you can come down to project it or the geographic and you can you can locate it. Um, for my project, I'm going to I'm going to use um, UTM NAT83 Zone 17. So I'm going to choose that, and that's got my coordinate system defined. It is important that you do this every time that you make sure that your your shapefile has a coordinate system assigned. Okay. From here, I'll just hit OK, and that's going to add it to the uh, list of map layers. Okay. You'll see that mine already has a um, a hollow red outline as the fill pattern. So because what I've done earlier was I chose a uh, like a hollow fill pattern and uh, went over here and chose a red outline and maybe bumped that outline width up to one and a half. And then once I got that saved the way that I wanted it, I just hit save as and I gave it a name and I and I named it tracks. So what you would do is you just name it right here and you can just name it tracks. And then I'm gonna hit cancel, but you would you would hit finish right there. And what will happen is anytime that you add a layer to the map called tracks, it will automatically add that fill pattern. So um, that's a handy that's a handy step that'll save you time. You can also save other fill patterns if you if you come down here and you choose some um, other fill pattern and you want to you know that one for instance, and you want to edit it, you can make any changes you want to. Um, and then you can do a save as maybe you want to call that planted pine or something like that to use for uh, symbolizing a stand that's planted pine um, but you just let your um, you know your imagination can help you uh, figure out how you want to design your fill patterns okay so I'm just gonna hit okay right there whoops let me change that back to there we go okay now once we've got the um, the track in the lit in the in the uh, table of contents, what I can do now is I want to open the attribute table and I can come in here now and I can start adding some attributes. So you need to think about all of the, uh, what kind of attributes would you want to um, be able to describe the track layer. So you can go here to the uh, table options and you can go to add a field and let's say we want to give it a like a track name. Okay, and I will choose a, um, I'll make that a text entry, and I'll say that maybe uh, 25 characters gives me enough um, width to enter a track name. So I hit OK right here, and then maybe I want to add a field for acres. So I'll come in and I'll punch in acres, and I'll choose a double as my type for that, and I'll hit OK. And uh, you can continue to put in other uh, fields as you like, um, the things that you think will be helpful um, in your uh, in your attribute table, you know another thing that you may want to do is the um, uh, owner, okay, and that can be a uh, text, and you can maybe make that 25 characters wide as well, okay. So you see that's there. Um, maybe we could put something like uh, add a field for uh, county. 
make that a text as well and we'll just make that uh, 20 characters add another field maybe this one could be state maybe make that a text as well <clears throat> maybe we choose to use abbreviations for this so I'll just make it 10 characters wide okay so you can see uh, what I'm getting to here you can you can make this any way that you like it okay so I'm gonna close that alright so now that is my um, I have edited this uh, tracks attribute table and uh, I can remove it from the map now and if I go back and, and you still still see the tracks shapefile showing up my shapefile templates if I were to right click and go to properties you would see all of these in the fields tab you would see all of these attributes that I've added to that um, that tracks uh, shapefile okay <clears throat> so let's go back to the shapefile templates folder right here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose new and we're gonna I'm gonna choose shapefile again and this time I'm gonna call this one stands and I'll make it a polygon as well I'll hit the edit button here to define my coordinate system just like before and I'll hit OK and you'll see it adds it to the map and the symbol pattern right here is automatically populated because I've already taken the time to create a uh, fill pattern for stands and it automatically um, adds that fill pattern whenever I add a layer called stands okay just like we did before to add attributes to the stands layer I'm gonna right click on stands in the table of contents and we'll hit open attribute table so from here we can go through and we can add fields we can uh, maybe the first field will be um, uh, we can call it type and this would be for like the stand type and I'll hit a, I'll hit text and I'll make this one um, <clears throat> 20 characters wide okay maybe the next one will be um, acres I'll make that a double okay um, you can make this as complicated as you want to we could maybe I could put um, primary species make that a text I'll make that about 20 characters wide <clears throat> okay you'll notice that it's going to truncate this because I, I use too many characters and that's okay alright let's say we want another um, uh, maybe a, a field for year of origin and I'll make that a short integer okay um, other stuff um, <clears throat> um, number of thins we'll make that a short integer maybe um, maybe year last thin short integer hit OK um, and you can see where I'm going with this you can um, uh, you can add as many as you like you can make this as simple or as complicated as you like okay so I'll close out of the attribute table here and I'm going to remove the stands layer <coughs> from my map Okay. Maybe you want to create another one in here. I'll just right click on the shapefile templates again. I'll go to new and I'll go to shapefile once again. And maybe this time I'll create a roads. And this will be a polyline. I'll adjust my coordinate system. And I'll hit OK. As the roads to my list of layers, I can change this to any uh, field pattern I want. Uh, and just like before, as you guessed it, we go to the open attribute table. We'll add a field, and maybe this one will be road name. Maybe we'll add another one for uh, width. Maybe we'll add a field for type. Maybe we'll add a field for uh, condition. Okay, you get the idea. All right, so I'll close out of that, and I will remove the roads layer from my uh, table of contents. Okay, now the goal with creating these shapefile templates as is 
as you create new projects, maybe you you've got a you'll create a new project in here called the Smith track, and we'll create a new folder for the Smith track. Okay, what you can do is before you start working on the Smith track, you can go to your Shapefile Templates folder, open up um, the folder, and just right click on the Stands layer. You can copy it, and you can come down and you can paste it into um, the Smith track, and we'll do the same thing for maybe tracks. Copy, paste. Okay, so now I've got those shape files in there, and um, you can you can make adjustments to them from here, like it, for the stands layer. If you want to call it Smith Stands, you could rename it right here. Okay, make sure you don't put any spaces in shape file name. You could put an underscore if you wanted to. Okay, and then if I wanted to rename tracks, I could uh, I could just right click on it and rename it Smith tracks. Okay, well I hope this helps. This should save you some time in your map creation process by going ahead and having some shapefile templates to be able to pull from so that you don't have to recreate the wheel every time. Okay, hope this helps.